Hi everyone, I'm Doug Black, Editor-in-Chief at Inside HPC, and we're at ISC 2022 in Hamburg. And with me now is Brian Peterson. He's COO of high performance storage company Panassas. And Brian, uh, what are you seeing out in the market these days in high performance storage? I guess uh, I would answer that a couple of different ways because in general, high performance storage has been in two segments, high-end enterprise storage and then HPC. And at this point in the market, we're seeing a blending of those two. Maybe not in all verticals, but in, uh, in many of them we are. And so there's kind of the historic HPC that might be more in the institutional and research side, but it's blending across the board and then adding artificial intelligence into it is also expanding what the opportunities are in the marketplace for, for what is needed for, for the workloads and everything else for artificial intelligence for machine learning. So this week at the conference, what are you all really focusing on and talking about? We just announced a couple of new products. Uh, Panassas has not actually introduced any new products for quite some time. So if we go back to some history on it, the company was started over 20 years ago out of Carnegie Mellon and has kind of continued to focus on hardening its own parallel file system uh, over many, many years. In the last uh, decade, and even more recently, seven, six years ago, we started re-architecting the product and taking that off of proprietary hardware so that it can now run on off-the-shelf hardware that's out there in the environment. With that, we are now in the stage that we've hardened that completely, and we are now prepared to be in an environment that could, it could run in the cloud, it could run at the edge, it could run on any different variety of OEM's hardware, uh, but it just makes us more versatile to be able to put that out there where customers would like to have that over time. So what we're talking about now, though, is that we've added also an expanded part of the product line that includes an all-flash offering, and then also an expanded version of more high-capacity, lower-cost product that, that will also be a complementary product to the historic Ultra product line. If you're sitting on with a prospective customer that's looking for a high-performance storage uh, solution, they want to know what, how does Panassas differ from your key competitors? I think the, the main part that we differentiate ourselves on and have been known for many years, but sadly only by our customers, is that we have a hybrid solution that we've designed that will run on historic hard drive, plus now we're adding newer mediums along the way. As NAND and Flash has expanded and improved, we will add elements of that in there. But the hybrid, the hybrid offering allows the customer to not worry about where they're putting their small files and their large files. The Panassas product offering does that for them. So it takes down administration and the data management of it, that they're making sure that they're utilizing the best of what they're getting uh, at the most cost competitive offering without adding too many people in there to manage that system. So Brian, tell us about uh, the nature of your customer base. Well, interesting actually. So you can take a look here in the video on the background that shows uh, the broad verticals that we, that we uh, touch as far as customers go. But we have uh, several segments that we've serviced for many, many years. Our, some of our customers have been uh, partners with us for 15 years, uh, but many have been uh, for over 10 years that we built long-term relationships with them. But uh, we've been in the energy space. Oil and gas was a big part, part for us, but it's now evolving into alternative energy. Uh, we have long-term financial services customers. Uh, we've done a lot in manufacturing. So if you think about designing airplanes and or large equipment or process orientation for Procter & Gamble, packaging elements. Uh, we have many customers that are also studying the, the climate and what's changing and how they can do things. It's not just in, in the government space, but actually private enterprises that are looking to see how they can help with, with the environment. So we have many that are doing many things for commercial purposes, but also many of these commercial purposes are serving good. And that's what's great about being in, in this relationship with these customers for a long time. So the last one I would mention is life sciences has been a huge area for us to grow. Uh, and in particular, there's a part of that where, where they can now take a better look at frozen molecules in a 3D model. Uh, it's called CryoEM. We have been expanding in that space and in fact winning most of those deals in that, in that area that's both research and tied to universities and organizations, but also a lot of private uh, entities that are getting funding to, to do that, where they're looking at molecules and also how proteins are attaching. So obviously drug discovery and looking at ways that we can improve our overall health is, uh, is exciting and uh, great to be a part of that, that segment as well. So super data intensive stuff. Very intensive. They, it's a lot of uh, heavy workloads. 
a lot of expensive equipment and a lot of expensive people that are running all of these. So they need it to be secure and they need it to be easy to manage. And that's what Panassas has been for many, many years. Okay, well, great. So we've been with Brian Peterson of Panassas and uh, have a great rest of the conference. Thank you very much, Doug. Thank you.